Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. We are doing an H&M haul today. It's been a while because I haven't found that many pieces that I love, but I ordered two online during the Black Friday shenanigans, and then I went to the store yesterday and found more pieces, so let's get going. So first off, we're gonna talk about this vest here. There was another vest that I wanted on H&M, but it sold out before I could actually bite the bullet to get it. This is an alpaca blend. I ordered a size medium so that it would be oversized. I like that it's a V-neck. As you guys know, I like to show off my necklaces, and because it's oversized, it drapes a little bit better. So it does have a nice opening here, so I would recommend probably wearing a tank top or an long sleeve underneath as a layering piece if you're not comfortable with like a bra strap showing. So yeah, this is the material up close and because it is an alpaca blend, you can kind of see the fuzziness in it. I'm a really big fan of the color because I think it's super neutral. So this is how long it is on me. It can actually be a dress. So if I wore like a probably slip silk dress underneath, I could pull it off as just like a sweater dress. But I really like how it looks like with mom jeans and some slides. I like the proportion, and especially I like the lighter color. I think it'll look really nice with some white jeans as well. So yeah, I think this is a keeper. So next we have this really cozy turtleneck. It is really thick knit, but not too itchy. It's only 5% wool, and the rest is polyester and acrylic, which is why I can actually wear it either with nothing underneath or just a tank top. I'm a big fan of oatmeal, as you guys know already, so that's why I stuck with this color palette. So if I unfold it like that, this is how it sits. It is a size medium. I tend to go up in size with H&M just because I like my sweaters oversized. So this is the material up close. I'm loving this texture and I love that the turtleneck actually doesn't really touch my neck. You might even be able to see some of my necklaces depending on how loose it gets. Next up is this green sweater that I got in a size large because I wanted it to be this oversized. I wanted it to fit over my jeans almost like a dress. So that's why I went with a double size up. I normally am a small, like I said, medium. I kind of knew wouldn't be dramatic enough, so that's why I went with this. So up close, this is a speckled green sweater. You can kind of see these little white speckles in it, and I think that it adds a really fun texture to this otherwise like kind of muddy green sweater. So this sweater is mostly cotton, a little bit acrylic, and 1% wool. So it's super, super comfy. Plus, again, because I got a large, the turtleneck part, it doesn't really touch my neck so it doesn't bother me and because I have a lot of red holiday stuff in my closet I wanted to expand into some greens I'm probably gonna wear this one on a Christmas day or one of the Christmas dinners that I have coming up next up is another large sweater I love getting large sizes from H&M because I think that the large that they have fits me perfectly as an oversized sweater so this guy is super simple just a crew neck that kind of comes down right under the butt for me in terms of proportion and height wise and 5'5 five five again. I love collecting neutral sweatshirts just because I think that they're going to last forever. It's super fuzzy inside but like a thin-ish sweater so that you don't overheat and you feel very comfortable and you can move in it without it getting too bulky especially in a large size. I think that's really important. So I also want to show you this really cute pearl headband that I got from H&M. Because my hair is shorter now I like to wear some headbands and some hair accessories. So I get a lot of headaches um, from headbands, but because this one's kind of like looser and not very stiff, I haven't had any issues with it. And I think it's super festive. What do you guys think? Next up is an orange neon sweater that I had been eyeing for a bit. It's a lightweight ribbed sweater. Doesn't come up too high, so it doesn't bother my neck. I like that it's a little bit fitted, but obviously not like skin tight. The ribbing has a fun little, um, design in it. It's not just like a vertical one. It comes in almost like a chevron. So I am wearing a size small. I feel like an extra small might be better because there is a little bit of this loose material here um, when I move my arms. But otherwise, it's not too bad. I might size I might say size down if you end up getting this. And then these pants I found in store. They reminded me of these Aritzia pants that I wanted, but they sold out. The only thing is the material I don't think is quite there. The Aritzia ones that I liked had a little bit of linen in it and more texture. There is something going on with the way that they made the pockets. It's not lining up properly, and I think that it is affecting how flattering they are. So this is probably going back. If you guys are curious, this is the shape of the pant from afar. They're super high-waisted and a little bit cropped. I am wearing a size 4. I would say size up in these because I had tried on another pair of pants um, at the store that were a size 2 that fit me properly. And then these ones are a size four and they fit me too. So so speaking of Aritzia, there was another jacket that I was eyeing from them that's like this faux leather button down jacket just like this. 
So when I saw this at H&M, I thought I'd try it out. The actual make of this jacket after I put it on is not what I expected. It is not as nice. I think that it looks cheap, but I'm going to show you it up close. From afar, I don't mind it, so I got a size medium so that it fits a little bit more oversized, um, and I think the shape is fine, but the type of faux leather, I'm not the biggest fan of, and the stitching. So I'm gonna come up close so you guys can see that. So if you look up close, you can really see the issues with the stitching. There's just weird bunching going on, like here. Obviously, it's a little bit wrinkled from sitting in a bag, but it's just not well made especially i think if you see it in person you'll know what i mean just don't feel confident in it makes me feel a little bit like cheap so yeah this jacket is going back even like the faux leather itself i mean arrest does a lot better job making faux leather look luxe this isn't it all right so this jacket i love it's about the same shape i mean button down a little oversized this one, the sizing is a little different though. It's a small slash medium or a large or extra large. So I went with a small medium. I like the size. I'd be curious to try the large extra large to see how much more dramatic it is. So this is the material up close. I love this material. It is super, super comfy and soft and there's like a really nice texture to it. This reminds me of a Tibby uh, jacket. They have like a set similar to this, but obviously much much more expensive so this one doesn't have a pocket here because it is a thinner jacket i would say it's almost like a thick flannel and this houndstooth pattern really doesn't go out of style it's a really nice classy pattern but mixed in with a little bit more of like a casual shape like this i think is why i like it so much and in terms of proportion wise i think small medium is good i think if i went to the large extra large it might be a little bit too overwhelming for me if you're like a medium though i would probably go to the large extra large because you don't want this jacket to be too fitted you lose like the vibe that the oversized button down jacket gives all right so this is a sweater dress I got it in a size medium because I saw it on the rack and it was like that oversized feel. So I wanted to take it a step further and get one size up. I really like the shape of it. It's basically like the shape of some of my favorite sweaters, just longer. And then I paired it with some sneakers to dress it down, but you could probably wear some knee high boots too if you wanted to dress it up with some heels. Maybe my Jimmy Choo ones would be cute. So I normally am not a huge dress person, but there's just something about this oversized cozy dress that I think is a lot more my vibe. And I think I can see myself wearing it a lot. Obviously wearing bike shorts underneath, I probably wouldn't wear stockings with this one because it is so oversized and down to my knees already. So this is a material up close. It is 8% wool. So it is cozy. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is that it might pill. Just kind of looking here, I'm not sure but otherwise this material is super cozy. And that's a wrap to my H&M haul. I hope you enjoyed the pieces. Let me know if you guys have any questions and let me know if you guys have a favorite. I will be linking everything in the description box below that is still linkable because I got some of these pieces a couple weeks ago and some of them were in store. I'm not sure if they're all gonna be available online, but I will try to my best to find you similar pieces. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you soon.